Desert Wings, Cliffs of Dover. Let's fly a user mission, a bomber intercept. But before we get started in the mission editor, we're going to click on our opponent's Fiat G50s. And at this waypoint, we're going to put them into the action of escort. They're going to escort those bombers right next to them. And then we're going to go into the individual crews, pilot number one. And we're going to go in the skill editor and put his discipline up all the way. We're going to skip pilot two, go to three, and the same thing. Skill editor, discipline all the way up. And at times during other missions, the AI aircraft just fly off into the distance. We're going to turn up uh, their discipline uh, ability, see if they follow their orders to escort. All right, let's get underway. We're going to open up our cow flaps. There they are to the right. That's going to keep our uh, engine from overheating. We're getting set up for takeoff, and we're flying the Fleet Air Arm Martlet, a.k.a. the Wildcat, built by Grumman. We're going to open up our landing flaps, actually put them down for takeoff. And we're going to get the uh, takeoff conditions from the tower. So we're going to go into a slight headwind. So we're going to have to adjust accordingly during takeoff. And it's just a slight effect blowing us off to the right. We're going to counter with some left rudder. All right, full throttle, and we're airborne. All right, the detail to this aircraft is really incredible. we got to turn this hang crank 26 times to get our gear up. And, and that's the way it was. The uh, Wildcat did not have it electric motor. Alright, we got our gear up. Let's go ahead and close our canopy. And let's move forward to the target area. Alright, our flight has located the uh, incoming enemy bombers. some altitude uh, above them. We're going to drop in. And there's the bombers up ahead. And we can make out their escorts. They're alongside. We're going to try to break up this formation. We're going to fly right through them. Got to watch the escorts. Oh, their gunners scored a hit on us. We're going to go vertical and turn back in on them. Flight uh, crews on the bombers kept it together. They stayed in formation. We've got some separation uh, between the fighters, so we're going to go right after the bombers, straight six. got to take them out of action before they reach our airfield. We're in that gun sight. We're seeing nothing but hits at a distance. Now here's where that change in the distance takes effect. You can see the Fiat's coming right after me. So we're going to throttle back. Roll into this attacking G-50 by dropping our altitude. He flew right past us. We're out of position to follow up on him, but our six is clear. One of the 
bombers broke off formation. Oh, I can see why. We've got shoots off to our right. Looks like one bomber crew bailed. And a second bomber's going down. So our wingmen really were on it. We've got to catch this final bomber. Check our six. Our six looks clear. But off ahead, we can see our airfield coming up fast. This bomber's approaching his target. Danger close. And our aircraft engine for this era is about 800 horses. Catching the enemy bomber. Looks like he's veering off to the left of the airfield. We're going to get in that gun sight because we're going to have to shoot it a long distance. Want to make sure he doesn't take our uh, airfield out. We've got a good lineup. Straight six. And our AAA is also engaging him. There goes another one of our wingmen. I don't think he's going to make it to the airfield. But here comes the Fiat's. They're coming at his nose up. Firing guns at us straight up. Oh, shots out on the cross. We scored a hit. If you could hear it, that was so cool. All right, that enemy bomber's trying to limp back home. I think his mission's done. on the lookout for the remaining Fiat. The G50 is a pretty good airplane. It can really turn. All right, we've got two off to our port side. They're going to climb. We're going to turn into them and go after them nose up. Oh, we scored a big hit. We got him smoking. Let's see if we can do the same with the trailing Fiat. But he's not having it. He's staying above us. Doesn't want to fall for our tactic. Okay, we're going to nose it down a little bit and turn in. We're just nosing it down to generate speed. Turning back in towards the enemy. Lining up. Oh, we got multiple hits. Parts flying everywhere. I think he's going in. All right. Splash G50. Let's take it back to the base, since we still have one. All right, pretty successful mission. kept the enemy bombers from reaching our airfield. And we got two out of three bombers. We also got some air-to-air uh, -air victories on the Fiat's. Alright, let's get lined up on final. We're 
starting to feel that crosswind effect. Kind of drifting off to our right a little bit. Let's get our wings level. And touchdown. Not a bad landing. Not on the airfield, but close enough. All right, our score is, uh, we got credit for knocking out two bombers and three G-50s, so it's an extremely good flight for this pilot. Ace in a day. So the uh, Martlet is a really good aircraft in this game. It's just really fun to fly. Uh, you're not going to outrun anybody, but you can sure turn with them. Let's close out with the gun camera. Here we just nail this bomber from the 6. And then we're going to deal with the Fiats. Oh, I think we got them in the noodle on that one. Well, guys, I hope you liked this flight. Uh, sure was fun to fly. Uh, play around with the skill sets. Uh, it makes the game more interesting.